5 Powerful Ways to Attract Abundance in Your Life Don't accept the fear that scarcity exists in any corner of your life. There is enough love, enough time, enough healing to go around. Give what you wish to receive. Jewel. Is it luck or destiny calling? A lot of people think that life is just a series of circumstances beyond their control. They don't understand the kind of power they wield, or how it can shape the course of their life. We all have this ability, and it's just a matter of developing it like any other skill. It all starts with mastering your mindset and cultivating the right habits. After that, you'll effortlessly attract more wealth, abundance and happiness than you know what to do with. Here's how to get started today. Number 1. Light up the world When I think about abundance, there's no better representation of it than the sun. When was the last time you were worried there wasn't enough light for everyone? Have you ever been afraid that the sun would go out one day? Probably not. Sure, maybe billions of years from now, that might happen. But as far as human comprehension is concerned, that's not for another several eternities. Now think about that light inside you. There's so much goodness, talent, and value that you can offer the world. When you shine that light on other people around you, there's no limit to the impact you can make on their lives. And when you generously share this endless gift, you'll find that it will come back to you in ways you've yet to understand. Number 2. Unlearn your fear of scarcity Most of us are afraid that the worst is going to happen. We're always stocking up, securing the hatches and stealing ourselves from dangers we've yet to face. In a lot of ways, we're prisoners of our own fears. It's mostly because everyone has their share of negative life experiences. It might leave someone a little jaded, change their outlook on life and make them defensive. Worse, it closes their minds to the infinite possibilities and opportunities that life has to offer. So, they usually have these kinds of thoughts in their head, how can there be any good left in the world when it's been so unfair to me? The idea of, having it all, is a myth. You have to settle for whatever life gives you. But the fact is that you can have your cake and eat it, too. If you raise your frequency and tap into the energy of the universe, you'll find that it can give you everything you want. When you embrace the reality that life is abundant as you want it to be, you don't have to pick and choose, because it's all yours for the taking. Number 3. Detoxify your life People often hold on to things in this world way longer than they should. It could be junk sitting in your attic or basement. It can also be thoughts, experiences, and memories of events that have come to pass. All of these might have served a purpose in the past. But as you evolve over time, you're not the same person you were so many years ago. Your priorities and motivations have changed, and you have different needs now. You're more focused and have a clearer sense of direction, so holding on to those things could be slowing you down. Don't let that toxic energy drag you back into past behaviors and thought patterns, it's going to get in the way of attracting abundance in your life. However, I'm not saying that you should throw away positive memories or experiences. Just let mentally go of the ones that don't help you anymore, then move forward. As for physical clutter, getting rid of it is also helpful from a psychological viewpoint. Look into the minimalism movement and figure out how to trim the fat wherever you can. Joshua Fields Milburn and Ryan Nicodemus, known collectively as the minimalists, are authors and filmmakers who talk about this topic. They don't reduce the act of decluttering to merely getting rid of stuff. It goes beyond that, and here's what they had to say about it. Minimalists don't focus on having less, less, less. We focus on making room for more, more time, more passion, more creativity, more experiences, more contribution, more contentment, more freedom. Clearing the clutter from life's path helps make that room. Number 4. Rewrite your story Everyone has a narrative in their head, and it's often toxic. The story they have about themselves is usually littered with damaging and disempowering labels. And people don't even realize half the time that they're doing this. Like we talked about in the last point, people hold on to experiences and events for years and years. This creates a distorted truth about who they are, and they repeat it in their mind over and over. Here are some examples of what I mean. That kid from high school was right, you'll always be that awkward loser who can't get it together. That's why you're stuck in the hole you're in now. Do you know why your partner broke up with you? 
It's because you're insensitive and don't care about anyone else but yourself. No wonder you're alone now. Your dad always said you didn't have the guts to pursue an actual career. He knows you're not strong enough to stand on your own two feet, that's why he's always bailing you out. These stories and beliefs shouldn't get a vote in your life anymore. The less you feed them, the less power they'll have over you. Remember, part of letting go of that negative baggage is acknowledging it first. Once you've come to terms with that story in your head, you can begin rewriting it. That way, you can create the space in your mind for abundance to grow. Number 5. Reinforce your reality mindset is crucial, but so is action. You can have the most empowering thoughts in your mind, but doing something about it is the other side of that coin. More importantly, taking action will help those thoughts of prosperity grow even more. So when you start executing that vision based on your abundant thoughts, it creates a positive feedback loop that feeds on itself. This is why it's important to match every abundant thought with concrete action. This will reinforce the belief that gave birth to it in the first place. Once you've set this cycle in motion, you can keep feeding it until it creates a ripple effect in your life. And even the smallest steps will ADD up and multiply exponentially. Don't ignore the little things you can do every day to support your mindset of prosperity. Savor the small moments where you get to enjoy life's abundance, then channel that positive energy into action. Do the job that you have with passion and dedication, even if you're thinking of resigning. Have brief but meaningful conversations with people, like the barista at your favorite coffee shop or even that coworker you haven't been that friendly with. Looking at the bigger scheme of things, your positive actions put a particular kind of energy into the world. And that energy will find its way back to you so you can keep doing the same thing, but on a bigger scale. Lather, rinse, repeat. In my experience, the biggest challenge of getting into this positive cycle, is breaking out of a destructive one first. That's what I struggled with for the longest time in my life. I know what's like to get caught in a vortex of negative thinking and harmful actions. Abundance was the farthest thing on my mind. The irony was that I was supposed to be the successful person with the perfect job and the ideal partner. That's what everyone saw when they looked at me, at least. What I felt inside was another story. I was trapped in the life that I made, and burned out from having to put up appearances. It all changed, however, when I took a different approach to the law of attraction. I tried it a few times before, but couldn't quite manifest the kind of abundance I wanted. I was getting frustrated with getting limited results, until I discovered a small but powerful shift that made all the difference.